Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about something so bizarre and I never in a million years would have thought I'd be sitting here and making this video. It's definitely very confusing even for me and I guess let's just get started. I'm just gonna start off by saying I've always been attracted to men and only men. Ever since I could talk Ever since I was a baby, I've always shown affection and feelings to men and only a man. And this experience and this story definitely is very eye-opening to me and it definitely has changed my perspective and who I like and pretty much in life. And I hope you guys learn something from this and take something from this because you just never know what can happen. And the thing is, I'm going through this right now. like. This is very recent to me and I still don't know exactly how to feel and exactly what to think, but I think this is definitely a very eye-opening experience for me. I'm just going to get started with the story because I don't want to take too much time explaining myself. So this happened my senior year of high school, which was last year. I took an art class and in that art class I've made so much friends. Everyone there was just so funny, so unique and weird in their own way. Everyone understood their humor. The art teacher was just very weird and very crazy, but which art teacher isn't? But I definitely made so much friends in that class. I loved everyone and I sat with these three other girls. I'm not going to name any names because I don't want people guessing and whatever, but I sat down with three other girls and they were pretty much like my squad, like my art squad. And every day, like I always looked forward for that class because I always had such a good time. Uh, we'd laugh about everything, make jokes about each other, about everything. And we wouldn't even like, we wouldn't get our feelings hurt because we know we were just joking. It was just such a fun click, but things started happening with me and like my feelings with this one particular girl and I'm gonna get into that and I love everyone from my art squad they're all amazing and awesome people and I'd have so much fun and good times with them but there was this one particular girl that I would think about like every single day and at the beginning I started just thinking to myself like oh my god like this person is very special like I really want to be really good friends with her like nothing crazy nothing weird I just want to be friends with her and I think there's definitely something special about her but it definitely escalated more and more as time went by and the more confused I started getting. It came to a point where I literally started thinking about her when I would wake up, I would think about her when I would fall asleep, whenever I would see her, I would like get extra cue and I would like glam myself up a little bit. But I would do these things kind of self -con subconsciously because at that moment I didn't really think or know it was a crush until like a little bit after but I would definitely do these types of things I would think about her all the time and I would get ready for her um but I would do this subconsciously and I just thought like wow I, I like this person she's very special and I really want to be best friends with her but that's what I thought at the moment until I started realizing like oh my god like I think there is something more than just me liking her as a friend. I think maybe I do like her in that way, which is so weird because I've always, ever since I was young, I've always liked men and only men. And I was 100% positive that I would never have feelings for any type of girl, like at all. And this was just such a weird and confusing moment for me because it changed everything. and. I have blocked these feelings so much because I just, I don't want to talk about it and I don't want to be confused again. But I've accepted that I've had a crush on this girl and I've accepted that there is a possibility that I can have a crush on another girl and that's okay. And I think this is what I'm so like proud of myself as is I've always been the type of person to say, I do like men, but I don't know if I'll ever fall in love with a girl. I don't know if that's possible or not. And that goes for straight people too. You can't say you will never fall in love with a man if you're a man and you're straight and you can't say that because you just never know. You've At the moment, you think that you're not gonna fall in love with someone because of their genitals or whatever, but it can happen. And 
I'm proof of that because I've always been attracted to men. I've always liked men and I had a crush on a girl and it's just so weird and confusing, but it's just, it's true. And you just never know who you're going to find. I don't know if I consider myself a straight female or a lesbian female or a bisexual female, but quite frankly, I don't care. Like I don't care and I am so happy that I can finally sit here and tell you guys that I don't give a crap about what label I like has always been revolved about these stupid labels and grouping me into these groups and yes labeling is also a good thing because it, we can be powerful and just demonstrate like oh look at this discrimination and make a movement on gay people but at the same time I don't want to be grouped in this stupid label. I just want to, like, I feel trapped in that shit. I feel trapped and I just hate it so much. And whenever people would say, like, a long time ago, like, whenever people would say, like, I hate labels, I would always be like, you're so stupid. Like, I don't understand. But I've come to a point where I realize, like, labels are so stupid. I don't care if I'm straight, gay, lesbian. I don't give a crap. I'm just going to do me. And if I end up liking a girl, I'll end up liking a girl. And if I end up liking a guy, I'll end up liking a guy. And that's that. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you want to call me, if you want to call me lesbian, bisexual, whatever, you can call me that shit. But I don't care. I personally don't give a crap. And I'm just so happy that I can sit here and say that I don't care anymore. And I don't care if people want to label me or whatever. I just want to do me and I want to be happy. And I'm going to do everything that I can to be happy. And it just feels so good. And I know I'm screaming and going crazy, but I feel like these thoughts have been boiling up inside me. And I think anyone who's part of the LGBT community can honestly relate and sometimes you just feel trapped in these stupid labels and it just gets so tiring and I just become super tired of them. I guess if you want to label me as something or group me as something, I guess you can label me as pansexual because I personally don't care who you are, what gender you are, what you have between your legs. If I like you and there's some sort of attraction and you're beautiful and you're amazing and you're smart and I just have a connection with you, then I'm going to end up liking you. And I think it's definitely, it took a lot of growing up for me to do to accept that and to accept, accept the fact that I don't know who I'm going to end up falling in love with. And it might be a girl, it might be a guy, like you just never know. And I have talked to this person, like the person that I have a crush on. And we're okay, like we're in good terms. It was definitely very awkward. I knew that telling her was going to be such an awkward thing because no one would have ever thought that I would have a crush on a girl like no one like at all and I've never really shown any signs like that and it's just something that no one would expect but shit happens you just never know like every day is a new day and you just learn more about yourself and you grow and you learn um but yeah me and her were in good terms uh, it was definitely a little bit awkward telling her, but we're definitely in good terms and she's accepting and she's okay with it. And I will say that I'm definitely more attracted to men than I am girls. I think about men a lot and I've only had a crush on one female while I've had like 10 bazillion crushes on men. So I definitely like men more than I do women, but... I'm not opposed to females and if I end up liking a girl then I'll end up liking a girl and I don't care. And I truly hope this inspires everyone because I know a lot of people are very confused and just fixated and being labeled as something but in the end of the day who gives a crap? I know that people are always like oh my god am I gay? Am I lesbian? Am I this? Am I that? But who cares? Just do you and Stop worrying about what you are and just focus on doing what makes you happy. Um, and I think this is pretty much the moral of the story is don't don't feel like you, you're obligated to be one and be the other and be this. Just feel obligated to do what makes you happy. And in the end of the day, you're living your life. So just do, if you guys have any questions, you can definitely leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll answer everything. Um, so yeah, definitely leave a comment if any. Do you guys like this look? I don't know if I'm living for it. It's definitely giving me like emo, gothic vibes, but definitely leave a comment in the comment section below if you're living for this look. This is a dress that I'm wearing. Isn't it super cute? I got it at Hollister like a long time ago and the necklace I got at Claire's. The watch is 
Michael Kors, and I just am living for this look so much. I love it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!